Hey y'all and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Ray Lynn. In today's video, I figured I would let you follow along what I'm doing today. I don't know exactly what I'm doing this morning, <laughs> um, but I know later this afternoon I have to go into town with a friend um, and I have a grocery pickup and I'm not sure what else we're gonna do, but yeah, I figured I'd take you along for that. And then not sure what I'm gonna do afterwards. I basically just know that at 3 p.m. I have a grocery pickup. I just wanted to turn on the camera and see what I could get okay, done. Okay, so I wanted to show y'all just in case. I mean, I don't know if anybody's like me and is in on the hunt for a dish drainer. <laughs> but just in case you are, I just wanted to show this one. Um, because it gets really good reviews on Amazon and I knew I needed something bigger and I was tired of having to have, as y'all have seen before, I, um, I would have to have like all these towels over here and on the other counter and it was just, it was a mess. So my husband, the awesome husband that he is, ordered this for me. I, I mean, I, I think it'll be a good fit. I can fit a lot in here. It also has like the knife holder and then it has, you know, for your silverware. Um, and it's got, I mean, it's pretty big. I mean, you can see that I can fit this pan up under here and then it has the top rack. It showed for plates and for like saucers, but I can't get plates up here just in case anybody is on the hunt for a dish drain. I will update um, periodically about it just in case so that, you know, if you do want to get it, you could see it in action and see how. And then um, I will tell I will give updates on how I'm liking it and what I don't like about it. Pretty much. I, I love it. I love how big it is. Um, I was able to get so much put on here last night when I was doing the cleaning the kitchen. So I, I really do. I love it. So something, something else that I did yesterday, I started a sourdough starter. I have been watching videos on different things that you can make with it. I have been watching videos of people starting their own. So I'm just, I have this recipe here. Um, this is what I used the last time, but there's so many recipes out there. I know so many channels that I watch are now making their own starters. But yeah, just in case anybody is, you know, wanting to know how. I don't, I'm not an expert. I, I literally, I'm, I did it once, got it going, and then life got crazy. And yeah, I'm still so upset about that. But I'm doing it again. And this time I'm going to keep it up. I mean, this is something that could last for years and years and you can give to people and I just think that's so cool so I'm really excited and actually my last one I did end up giving to a, some of it to a friend I don't know that she still has it but I did give it to her and I think that's really cool like you can share and swap and all that stuff yeah so if anybody is interested in that let me know and I can you know just update periodically on that too um, I just thought it was something that you know I love baking and I love bread. And then I've seen a lot of people make sourdough muffins, make pancakes. Still trying to figure out like what I can what I can make with it. But we all love bread. So um, if I don't do anything but make sourdough bread with it. <laughs> but yeah, I figured I would just tell y'all about that if anybody's interested in that. And, and then go from there. Okay, so I got the kitchen clean. Now I am folding this big old pile of towels. I'm not sure what else I'm going to do, but I do know that I need to get these towels folded and yeah, I'm not really, I'm moving kind of slow this morning. It's so gross outside. It's so gross. It's been raining for the last couple of days and the snow is melting and it's gloomy and it's just, yeah. And it makes me where I don't really feel like doing anything except sitting and watching YouTube. So I'm not going to do that though. I'm going to fold this laundry. I am going to probably put it away and then I don't know what I'm going to do after that, but I will figure it out. Anybody else keep old raggedy towels just because you never know what you're going to need to clean up a spill or to put it down somewhere or to clean up something that you don't want to use your good towels for. I have several of these that I just keep for so that I don't really care if it gets messed up. And like this one, these are just towels that I've had for years and years and years. And I keep them because I don't really care about them. So if they get messed up, 
on dirty spills or like if my husband has some greasy thing that he needs to clean or whatever, I keep these around so that my good towels don't get messed up. Okay, so that's done. Now I just have to put it all away. And then I think I need to vacuum the floor next. Um, and then I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. Now I am just pulling down these cans, trying to organize them just a little bit better than what they are right now. So lately I have been craving salad like crazy. So instead of having what everybody else is having, I'm making me a salad. So tonight we are having an easy dinner of meatloaf, nor pasta sides, and the cream style corn. And the weather decided to go from rain to freezing rain and then to snow. And it was kind of like a wintry mix. So yeah, it was just a very, very gloomy, wet day. I hope you all enjoyed following along with me. And if so, hit that subscribe button and I'll see you on the next one.